right, well good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you joining once again. Uh, today we've got kind of an interesting one for you. We are headed out to the little town of Lincoln, Massachusetts, which is uh, about 30 minutes outside of Boston. And there's two things we're looking to see. First thing we're looking to see is kind of a, a weird little oddity that I found online. It's a basically like an abandoned, um, don't even know how to describe it. It's in the middle of a farm field and it's nobody knows why it's there and it's there's kind of like some mystery behind it but uh, basically the deal is that it people basically left uh, like horse statues like carousel horse statues those kinds of things there and over the years they've just like grown and grown and grown to the point where there's like apparently quite a few of them out there now so that's the first thing we're gonna go check out second thing we're gonna go check out is a sculpture garden out here which According to stuff online, and I couldn't really find a whole lot of information about it, it has some like very bizarre, kind of borderline disturbing um, modern art. Um, you know, I'm no aficionado, I don't know much about art if we're being completely honest with you, but uh, some of the sculptures were definitely kind of bizarre and um, unsettling, I think would be the word for it. So we're going to check both those out, but um, yeah, we're in route, we're in the little town of Lincoln, Massachusetts, and uh, let's go see what we can get into. Thanks again, let's do it. Another uh, couple quick little notes, uh, in case you didn't notice, it's raining, which we can still film. I mean, we've got the, the GoPro, which is waterproof, um, but it'll definitely make it a little more challenging. Uh, another thing I gotta be careful about, and kind of a fun note about driving all over the place like I do, and um, going into these little towns, and kind of getting out of the city is that, uh, you know, I have to remind myself to like be careful when I'm driving and be mindful of the speed limit. Um, for better or worse, probably for worse, uh, in Boston you can like, you're never going to get a traffic infringement unless you're doing something just extreme. Um, so it makes you kind of like a lazy driver and it makes you kind of, kind of careless, which is not good. Um, so going from one environment like that to this one is you just have to be really careful because I've already seen a couple cops out and uh, these small town cops are, are not playing around and they uh, do not do not tolerate and I think this is a good thing but uh, they do not tolerate the kind of um, city hooliganism and lawlessness that uh, that goes on in uh, in Boston so but yeah we're a couple minutes out looking forward to getting to this first little uh, oddity and um, we'll just keep on rolling cool we are out in the middle of just kind of a farm very pretty very quaint out here in the middle of nowhere and let's just go pop over and see it. it's right here
pretty cool. So they call this place Ponyhenge after uh, Stonehenge. But yeah, kind of neat. I mean, it definitely looks like they're, you know, circling around this tree. Maybe they come alive at night. Who knows? But, uh, pretty cool. I imagine one of the local farmers or whatever maintains this. I mean, it's literally just out in the middle of like a farm field out here. Um, but they definitely range in age. I mean, some of them look like they're relatively new. Some of them have definitely been here for like years and years and years. Very old timey. A lot of them are like the kids' toys. I thought they were going to be like the carousel horses, but a lot of these look like kids' toys um, that, you know, buy for the kid. They've got like springs and kid bounces up and down on them. But uh, yeah, pretty neat. All the little weird little oddities you can find out uh, with the help of the internet and um, find out in the middle of nowhere. So I think we're going to hop back in the Jeep and we're going to head on to the main attraction, which is the sculpture garden. And I'm looking forward to it. Let's keep moving. We made it just in time for the rain to pick up too, but that's all right. A little, little rain never killed anybody. Um, yeah, so it's kind of back here. It's kind of off the main roads. It's definitely got kind of a spooky vibe to it already. And, uh, there's sculptures kind of scattered, littered throughout. Yeah, let's kind of take a look at them and see if we can get up close and um, see what it has to offer. what it is about this place maybe just because it's raining and kind of the moody ambiance or maybe the fact that there's nobody here but uh definitely gives you like an uneasy feeling like the artwork the sculptures the environment it's just kind of a it's not necessarily bad it's just like kind of a eerie feeling
Okay, well, this is definitely getting into the kind of borderline creepy, kind of disturbing art that uh, I was promised, which I'm glad. Yeah, the name of this piece apparently is just, it's very aptly named, Two Big Black Hearts. And uh, it's kind of odd. I mean, there's definitely little faces in it. It looks like claw marks, scratch marks, faces in anguish, you know, tools of various kinds, ropes. It's very like industrial in a weird way, but um, it's very pretty. It's very well done. And it's from 1935. Um, so it's going on a hundred years old, still standing strong. But yeah, definitely uh, the kind of creepiness I was looking for, which is cool. Very beautiful though, very, uh, very striking just out here in the, in the woods. Very cool. Little correction there. The artist was born in 1935. The sculpture was in 1985. Um, still almost 40 years old. Pretty cool. I'm starting to understand this place. It's not like it's particularly scary, like they were saying online. It's just like kind of unsettling in a weird way. I don't know. It's kind of disturbing. Like it, there's a there's a there's something like feels wrong about it. Like none of the sculptures just feel right. They they give you kind of a feeling of unease rather than a feeling of like you know, peace or enjoyment or whatever you want to call it. Um, Everything's just like a little wrong. It's kind of like an Alice in Wonderland kind of thing where um, it just doesn't feel quite right. But I'm really, really enjoying it. I mean, it's just beautiful here. It's a beautiful, beautiful park and a beautiful, beautiful um, just landscape too.
This is definitely the weird stuff that I like to see and I like to share with you guys. Cast out for Weedamu, you know, whatever that means. Very, very strange. Almost like alien looking figures. Um, pretty cool. Lots of, lots of little Easter eggs, lots of little fun things, and there's still lots to see. Keep on cracking along.
So just another, I mean, there's countless examples here. This whole place is just very weird. Um, but just another example of just like how kind of borderline creepy this place is. I mean, it's like the stone slab that looks like it has holes drilled in it, right? But then the name of the piece is Little Red Riding Hood and Other Stories. And then earlier I walked you through Alice's Garden. I mean, there's all these, you know, references to like Alice in Wonderland, kids stories, sculptures of children. Um, yeah, it's kind of a weird, kind of a weird vibe to it. I don't know. I can't, I just can't put my thumb on it, but uh, it's really pretty. But there's all these little Easter eggs. You saw like the Mad Hatter's hat earlier. Um, yeah, really cool. This really uh, exceeded my expectations and I'm, I'm really glad I was able to get out and do this. And I think the rain really helped because there's nobody else here. Um, so nice and quiet and pretty much have the place to myself. All right, well folks, that takes us to the end of the video. Um, I really, really enjoyed this one. I, uh, I found it equal parts kind of unsettling and disturbing in a way, but also equal parts just you know very peaceful and pretty. So a very strange mix of um, just bizarre and beautiful and um, you know, weird art, kind of some creepy art if we're being completely honest. Um, but just a, just a lovely experience on a, on a rainy morning in New England. Um, would definitely recommend coming out here. It's a beautiful place. The entrance fee is only $14. Um, it's the De Cordova uh, Sculpture Gallery or Sculpture. Um, the word is escaping me at the moment, but the Sculpture Garden, there we go. Um, but it's only $14, well worth the 14 bucks, uh, especially if you can get out here early um, before people get here and enjoy it. Um, but yeah, beautiful place, um, very eerie, but uh, would love to hear your thoughts about it and um, anything else you have to say in the comments. Uh, thank you again for watching. You know, if you enjoyed this, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed to my channel. Um, that really helps me out and uh, helps me kind of keep going and, you know, keep traveling out and gas money and everything else to, to get to these interesting places and, and share these things with you. Um, but other than that, I will let you go. Thank you again for watching and have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye.